Quick steering, also known as the quick flick, is a popular tool in the motorcycle world that brings with it a number of benefits to a variety of different cornering situations. In this video, I want to talk specifically about those cornering situations to give you a better idea on where it can be useful for you out there on track. We've already spoken in the past about what exactly quick steering is, and we've also compared it to trail braking to better understand its application and to see which is best, so we won't be going too deep on that here. But as a quick recap, quick steering is quite simply the act of steering and leaning the bike over very quickly to get the change of direction completed in a short space of time and to set your line for the approaching corner. And that's all I want to talk about here. Where does flicking the bike over as quick as you can benefit us? The first is in chicanes or fast direction changes. In chicanes, or when two corners follow closely from one another and are at similar speeds, a fast rate of steering is a key component to unlocking speed in that situation. Typically in these situations, you won't need to use the brakes in between the first and second apex. So it then falls on your ability to steer the bike to get through the section as quick as possible. All things being equal, the rider that can go from full lean in one direction to full lean in the other the fastest will be able to carry more speed through a section of track like this. Watch any MotoGP rider through a fast flip-flop section and you'll see that they are lightning quick going from one direction to the other. If they weren't lightning quick, at the speeds they're travelling they'd quickly find themselves running out of racetrack. Another instance is when a more balanced bike is a priority. Another benefit of getting your steering finished quicker and earlier is that it allows you to get back to the throttle in the middle of the corner to stop the bike slowing down. Stopping the bike slowing down means it's better balanced from a front and rear suspension perspective, so it can better deal with whatever the track surface throws its way. In situations where the middle of the corner has less desirable conditions, be it dips, bumps, ripples or cracking, etc. It's better for the bike to be balanced as it runs over them so it's in the best position to deal with these imperfections. In my experience, these situations don't come by very often, but it can sometimes be beneficial to get the bike online earlier by steering quicker so that you can get back to the throttle and stabilize the bike over these rough patches. You'll also see it in racing situations, specifically the cutback. One of the options that a fast rate of steering offers up is the option to steer later into the corner and get the steering finished quicker and earlier, which creates a line that allows you to stand the bike up and drive out of the corner earlier too. And this gives you a greater exit acceleration and a higher top speed down the preceding straight. Using a late and quick steering action then and squaring off the corner is an effective way to increase your corner exit speed. However, while it provides you with a lot of speed at corner exit, it might not necessarily be the fastest way through a whole section of track, meaning the corner itself along with whatever comes before and after it. And this is because you need to sacrifice speed at corner entry to make this work. Because when you steer later, you need to run a tighter radius arc to hit your intended apex, meaning you must go slower into the corner. Where you will see benefits as clear as day though are in racing situations where riders are battling for places. If you've watched Andrea De Vizioso and Marc Marquez battling it out in recent years, then you would have seen this many times. Marc would often try to overtake Andrea on the brakes and block him from the corner. But because Andrea was so good on the brakes, Marc would end up running deeper into the corner than he wanted. And on many of the occasions when Marc tried this, Andrea, who's on the red bike here, would simply run a little deeper into the corner himself, steer later and quicker and cut back, driving past Marc at corner exit sometimes creating a gap if the preceding straight was long enough. It's useful, but it's not universal. There'll be many situations where a quicker rate of steering will benefit you compared to a slow steering input. However, there will come a point where simply trying to flick the bike over quicker and quicker in every corner will begin to have a negative impact on your outright lap speed. As front tyre technology has moved on, the smaller piece of rubber at the front can be better leveraged with the use of trail braking, which requires a slower steering input compared to an ultra-fast flick. Again, neither technique is universal for every corner, but being able to steer the bike quickly will benefit you in some places out there, the biggest one being fast direction changes where no brakes are needed. For that reason, it's still a tool I would recommend you sharpen. 
Where have you found the biggest benefits of quick steering? Tell us about it in the comments down below. And as always, if you like this video, then please hit the button and subscribe to the channel for more performance riding advice and guides moving forward. Take care.